How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Me and Tommy's on another adventure. <laughs> what are you doing snooping around back here, man? Look at the Hydrax, man. Yeah, it's a Hydrax. It's got a it's got a Cummins six BT in it, and I think that it's uh it's going to crank. <laughs> <laughs> I brought a crescent wrench and a battery, so I think we're good. And let's take a look around this whole thing. It's been sitting in the woods. I don't know how many years it's been sitting in the woods, but it's been sitting here. So let's take a look at it and see if we can't get this thing back to life. If we do get this thing cranked up, or heck, even if we don't get it cranked up, and you're interested in purchasing something like this, I'll put the email to the seller down in the description box below. You can email him, and that way you can uh, contact him and see if it's something that you'd be interested in. So this one right here, this apparatus will grab the trees and then the saw blade is actually down there. It's probably got some carbide teeth. Yeah, it's got carbide teeth on it there. Man, you talking about lifting some heavy weight. This sucker would lift some heavy weight, wouldn't it, Tommy? Yeah, it's a fellow bunch of what that is. It's like a, uh, it's like a big old girl you took to the prom. <laughs> lift, a, lift a lot of heavy weight. <laughs> All right, I'm going to edit that part out for real. But man, look at that. That sucker is in there deep. We need your chainsaw. I know. I can't believe we didn't bring our chainsaw. You got a machete or nothing? No. Nope. I, I didn't even get an axe. You don't have no bush cutter. Nope. All right. Let's try to figure out how we can get in this thing. And let me at least, let me take around to this, the engine yeah, side. Of, yeah. So, it, we, yeah, we do have a little more access over here. So, we'll take a look. This is, a, like I say, the old Cummins in it. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll try it anyway, won't we? Pretty cool stuff. All right, Tommy, we hold this, and I'm going to snake my... Yeah, I, I see it. Let's see if I can get to it. I know, people. I should have brought a chainsaw. But I want to make it hard on myself. Some safety glasses or something. All right, here we go. Oh, good lord! I hope is that broke off? Cause that's a short dipstick, but it yeah, that wasn't in there good at all. Yeah, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that's not broke. See that? <laughs> Yeah, it's broke off. Yeah, I think that's broke off. Okay. All right. Well, we're not going to check the oil. That's all right. We'll cut it off if it, if it, cranks. If it cranks. We'll cut it off. <laughs> uh, I'm just looking at the wires to solenoids and stuff like that. Everything looks to be intact over here. All the wires. So the rats haven't got hold to this yet. So that's a good thing. I don't even see no rats nest up in there. So that's good. All right. Let's find the battery box. We'll go around this side and find the battery box here. Let's see if I can get it open here. Well, <laughs> I might have to get in. I have to get my pry bar and get that open or go to the other side. Hold on. I don't know if this side works because there's like little... Man, I can't believe I didn't bring a chainsaw. What kind of knucklehead am I? And I left my good gloves at the house. Uh. Tommy! <laughs> Maybe it'll stay down enough to get this door open. When you were a boy, you love to do that. I know it, right? <laughs> Ride trees down. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't recover as fast as you get older, do you? All right, let me climb up in here. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. I'm going in. Cover me. Arr. Got a bunch of acorns in here, so who knows what it's going to... Squirrels have been kept warm. And what the upper panel looks like. It does got one small wasp nest up there, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how to crank this thing. All right, let's look over here. 
right, some controls here. There's a throttle. This is the throttle, so that's good. Looks like an auto throttle over here. This is transmission speed. And let's see if it says. There's your filler bunch and arm instructions. Your fuses. Hmm. Like I seriously, I have no idea how to crank this thing. Any of you guys know how to crank this thing? I bet I've had cotton top with me. He know a fan, wipers, lights, nothing important up here. Huh. You would think it would be an obvious spot. All right, let me look. Let me do some more looking. Yeah, all right. So this is an engine start. So I'm going to leave that on. We're going to hook the battery up to it and just short out short out the the short out the uh, starter on that side. And I'm going to put the throttle all the way up. It ain't going nowhere. Tommy, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's going to work. I think it will. Uh, get this uh get our batteries out of here we'll take this one since it's got the it's got the two nuts on the other one was missing a nut on that side so we'll leave it be for now all right we're gonna um we want to take these adapters off here because they're not going to need those on this particular model Listen, we done added a member of the crew here. He's made his first cameo on Hamiltonville Farm YouTube channel. If this thing racks over a million views, you're going to be famous. <laughs> hey, everybody, let's share this video out. Let's make him famous. You know what I mean? This is his first appearance on Hamiltonville Farm. All right. And he offered to carry the battery. That's pretty nice of him, wasn't it? All right, here's the battery box. Oh, good Lord, that deep down in there. Here, let me get all this stuff out of the way here. Help you, help you load that down in there. It'd probably be easier if I if I got on the other side, wouldn't it? All right, here we go. And down she goes. Hold on, I got a flashlight. I brought a flashlight with me in case we need to see something. Well, uh oh, we're missing a. Let's go ahead and turn the light there. There we go. That's going to the starter. Tonight, right there's the ground. All right. Nice looking. Uh... <laughs> that might be it. They usually have one of the big old four Ds in here. That's right. Well, listen, we ain't, we ain't all high society <laughs> like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, let's see if it's fuel pump primer how you doing oh we didn't check the fuel and it ain't getting no tighter uh-uh not at all all right let's check the fuel in it all right let me check his fuel that primer button wasn't doing nothing maybe golly might have to Go get a crowbar. All right, hold on. Yeah, I got a crowbar. Let me try to put this bad boy up here. There you go. Ah. Who Lord. <laughs> now if I can get the, oh Lord, if I try to get this fuel, fuel, there it goes. What about that, huh? Y'all believe that? That thing worked. All right, let me, see. let me go get some fuel. Good thing I only brought four gallons or so. That stuff's heavy. I hope that makes it, hope that makes it work, you know. If nothing else, is going to have fresh fuel in it. What was that, 411? What was that? Mm -hmm. I believe that's right. 411. Yeah. 411. That might be enough right there. Get it to crank, you know. We'll try that primer pump again. I'm glad they put that step right there. So yeah, let's try this again. As long as it ain't like your 310, Tommy. 
It might take a minute, huh? I could. I don't feel. I don't even feel fuel in that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, there's no fuel in that line right there. Put it off right there. Yeah, put it in the can. In or, What's that? Pull that line off right there and blow back in it or let it, yeah, yeah. it down below the tank and let it. Yeah, yeah. Put some of this stuff on there. Oh, I thought I heard something running, but it... Got some of this liquid wrench penetrating oil. We'll set, let it set for a sec. Hello. If I had another line, we could run. I might have a fuel line in the truck, Tommy. This shouldn't be it. No reason that shouldn't come through. Hold on, I'm getting the car on here. Um, let me see. Underneath. Oh, good. That's good. Did you get that on camera, Tommy? <laughs> Probably didn't. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you did. You're halfway decent cameraman. Out, not a good mechanic, but you're good. <laughs> Shoot, Tommy's the brains of the operation, ain't he? Old Tommy. Tommy, you say you run one of these? Mm -hmm. Did you say you run one of these? Yeah. Well, then you should know how to crank it. <laughs> it's been a year, you know. Yeah. I'm getting old. I'm forgetting. Well, it's crazy how that works, ain't it? I generally have to ask the boss man how to crank it. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Might get leaders broke. It might be, cause it sure ain't feeling like it's getting any tension on it. That's all right. We'll 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 figure out something. Yeah, probably crank it out, pumping it. Yeah. This is the fuel pump here. We don't have a key, so what we're going to do is run a wire here to get it hot. So I got to go to the truck, look for a piece of wire. We'll run it from the battery to here, and then we'll just jump the starter. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Well, you're the one that said it, or was it you that said it? <laughs> Got a starter button here, so I was, I was thinking that. I was like, well, we'll put a screwdriver across that starter, but we don't have to do that. So I'm going to set this right here, and then I'll crawl back there. Let's go get that fuel pump hot first. We're fashioning a wire here so that it carry the current from the battery to the fuel pump. It's going to work, Tommy. What do you think? Tommy, you're, you need to give me a vote of confidence here. You're going to see, man. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a little pessimistic in this video. This is the easiest one we've ever done, Tommy. <laughs> We're going to put the official Hamiltonville Farm connector kit on here. And you're worried about pushing it over it. Uh, hey? Yeah. That that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We got, we got an old grader. Yeah, you enjoyed it. We had to take the fuel line off it. Get it down. <laughs> I've heard stories of people trying to stop it up by stopping the air. Yeah, that's right, putting that over the air cleaner. You know, this is this is what we call the advanced technique here. This technique is only what the real mechanic. What's that? You trying to get that door. Uh, this is this is the Hamiltonville farm technique. All right, so this side's done. Put this side on the hot side of the battery. Let's see if I can get y'all a camera shot in here. Nothing. How? Yeah, Cause it's on the positive side here. Yeah, here. Oh, okay, good. So when you put the official Hamiltonville farm connector on there, you got to make sure that you secure it, the official tape of Hamiltonville Farm. <laughs> Alright, let me see if I can get in this positive side down here. Uh, not, a, not that I see. It's on the positive side. Alright. Want to try it? I mean, we've got a secure connection. I don't understand. <laughs> That's it. 
All right, let's try to hook this starter button up. I'm getting too old for this. I'm assuming that's the hot side. That's what we're going to put it on anyway. What do you think about that? Put this one on the negative side. Um, that might work. Might have to ground that out. I don't know if I got those right. It did something, didn't it? But then it didn't do no more. Huh. It sparked, but then it stopped. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it just didn't lose contact or or what. So we'll try it this way. If this doesn't work, we'll get a screwdriver instead of my $40 starter button. <laughs> we'll use a $3 screwdriver, you know what I mean? All right, let's try it again. Nothing. Let me try it this way. I wonder if the cables on the battery are... They jumped off. It may have. Let me take a look. All right, here we go. I think it's going to fire. I just got to quit being a sissy and hold that thing on it. Tommy. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's all right right there. And it runs smooth. <laughs> we got, got the fire extinguisher back here. <laughs> yeah, man, that's awesome. Let me get in the cab and see if we can't do something inside the cab. Run some, pull some, pull some uh, levers and stuff. <laughs> Nothing going on with the levers there. Let's go get up in the cab here. Let's see if this throttle works on this thing. Here's the throttle. <laughs> So the throttle works. All right, let's see if we can get anything going on up here. Nothing. I'm not sure how to make that thing go. Oh, maybe this. So I'm trying this joystick here, and it's not going. So, but maybe I've got to maybe I've got to push a button. Let's try that. That's not it. I don't know how to make that stuff go. Maybe the foot pedals, but I'm scared to put. We didn't take the water, I don't think. Okay. We couldn't take the oil going off people. Alright. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in buying this, I'll leave the email down below. Man, that thing runs good. Got the quick disconnect here. <laughs> I wasn't rolling when we got it, the thing cut off. You believe that? Anyway, it's off. Very, very. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Yeah. We had to get. We had to hire a professional to come out here and help us do it. But other yeah, than that, yeah, what are you doing? yeah, buddy. Man, that was pretty cool, man. So the old 411 Hydroax, or is it Hydroax? Is that what they call that? Mm -hmm. But I tried, I pulled that joystick. I couldn't get that joystick to. Yeah. It probably I, just I, lost its. Uh, yeah, hydraulics. Prime on the pump. Oh yeah, probably. Electric. 
Probably something electric. Make yeah. Key yeah. Will it start? Yes, sir. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching. Take care. We'll catch you on the next one. God bless you guys.